Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is going to be a couple of little tips and tricks about using the VI text editor. And the idea from this came from some viewer feedback asking for some uh, tips using the, the VI or Vim text editor. So I figured I'd make this short little video uh, about said subject. Before I dive in, I want to thank returning subscribers for watching another video, as well as want to invite anyone who's watching this who has not subscribed yet. Make sure you click that subscribe button, ring the bell when you do, so you can be notified of when new content comes available. And also, this video is going to be available on uh, Odyssey and probably uh, Rumble if you like using some alternatives to YouTube for watching content. So this isn't going to be a um, exhaustive tutorial for VI, but rather I was thinking. Let me show you what I use um, when I'm having to, to, to use VI as far as day-to-day -day tasks and such. And I will say that uh, VI, I'm, I'm not a master of it by any means, but I primarily use it for doing some quick configuration file changes. So if I'm on a server and I need to edit a text file real quick, that's where I'll use VI. If I'm actually wanting to develop a script and such, I'll probably use some other tools than that. But let me open my terminal window here and... I'll show you a couple of things I do with VI. So I'm just going to make a little test.txt file. So VI, or I think VI actually will be Vim on uh, Fedora 34, which is what this is. So one of the big jokes about VI is it takes longer to quit the program than it does to actually do anything with the, the, the program. And, you know, I, I, I get it. I've been a VI user for a while and Honestly, I think most of the jokes about it are hilarious. There are some people that get real been out of shape for it, but or been out of shape over it. I'm not quite sure why. Enjoy some humor. But if you have a file open, you haven't made any changes, and you want to quit, you're, when you first open a file, you're, you're going to be in command mode. You can't actually add text, but you can do colon and then a variety of different commands to make some alterations to your text and such. So the first one I'm going to show you is just command Q which quits VI. Now, if you've made your, or you're working on your file, and I'm gonna go into how to make text in just a bit, but let's say you've made changes to the file. If you try to do Q, it's going to complain that you haven't done it right since the last change that you've made to the file. So Q exclamation point is basically quit and don't ask me about it. Now, if you've made changes, those changes are now lost, but you're out of VI. Next thing I want to show you is how to actually start typing text. And I think this is probably one of the most common complaints about VI. Like if you open up nano stuff is just working immediately, but VI, you have to add one little extra thing and that is the letter I key. So remember when you first open VI, you're in that command mode. If you press I, notice at the bottom, it changes to insert and you're now in insert mode. So we can, um, we can add some text here. So let me add a sentence, quick brown, Fox jumps over the lazy dog, and we'll add a couple more lines here. Foo, fo, foo. Well, I'm going to do a few foos here, and that, that, that'll make sense um, in just a couple minutes. And then a shameless plug. Let's see, what, what should I put? Ah, here we go. You can go to that website to contact me. And I have a couple of things there, though it's mainly a uh, static website. And then also one other little shameless plug, if you haven't done this. All right, so enough shameless plugs. So now let's say that we're done doing our file. We want to actually get out of VI, and this is going back to what we did before. If you're in insert mode or any of these other modes, you'll press the escape key, get you back to command mode. Then we can start doing colon and whatever. One of the first things I actually learned with, with VI is colon X. And what this is going to do is exit the program and write any changes that you've done to your file. So if I were to do colon X, we're out. See my test file or test.txt is there. And if I were to cat that, we see all of our lines and such. Another way of doing that, if I were to go back into test.txt and let's go to insert mode, I'm just gonna add the character A. Press escape to get back to your command mode. W for write, if you want to just write to the file and not quit, but if you did want to also quit, WQ. I tend to be lazy and I do colon X for that. So I'm actually not going to save the change. I'm just gonna quit out of the file. If 
Articat test.txt, you see that the A that I added is not there. The other thing I want to show you, I'm going to go back into test.txt, is how to navigate. You can use the arrow keys and such on your keyboard. They work perfectly fine, but the like traditional way of navigating is using the H, J, K, and L key. The J key will move you down a line. The K key will move you up a line. The L key is going to move the cursor to the right, not the left. And the H key moves the cursor back to the left. Sometimes I use H, um, J, K, and L. Most often I probably end up using the, the um, arrow keys instead, but I wanted to show that to you as kind of the standard way of, of moving around. Another thing that I commonly use is the DD command. And what that's going to do is act the same as cutting a line in, uh, if you were just in a text editor and you're cutting and pasting, acting as cutting the line. So I'm going to move down to the www.ejsllc.com and I'm going to press DD. And that line has now vanished. If I wanted to paste that line, because DD is effectively cutting. Let's see, I want to scope down to this. If I were to press just the P key, then it's going to paste the line after wherever the current cursor is. If I were to DD this again and do Shift P, then it pastes the line above where the, the cursor is. And these things, again, this isn't going to be an exhaustive guide for um, VI, but it's just stuff that I was thinking about what, what do I commonly have to do when I'm using it, and these are it. So you have the, the cutting and pasting. You can also do, I think is it Y or YY? Let's try. I think it's YY. So let's try this again. I'm going to try to paste this here. There we go. Let me DD this. I'm going to go up. Oops, that did what I wasn't expecting. So when in doubt, I'm going to quit and not save. So if I press just the Y key and then try to paste, that doesn't work. But if I do YY, that is yanking a line, which is copy and paste. So I can do P to paste and Shift P if I wanted to paste again. So DD is going to be your cut for pasting with the P key and YY is technically is called yanking, but it's effectively the copy for that. One other thing about VI that I use fairly often is being able to run just normal bash commands from within VI. So if I were to escape, go back to command mode, and let's say I wanted to get a listing of the current directory, you can do exclamation point, or sorry, colon, exclamation point, and then whatever shell command. So I'm going to do ls. And what that's going to do is take you out of VI and basically give you, you know, whatever command you did. And you can see documents, um, desktop downloads, all that. Press enter or type command to continue and you're back in, in your VI. Now, what I tend to use this for more often than not is along with the colon R command. So I'm going to navigate to the bottom and I'm going to use the O key which that goes and puts you in insert mode at the next line down. That's one I use pretty often. So I for insert, O for insert on the next line. Going to add a couple lines of spaces. Press escape to go back to command mode. I'm going to do colon R. What this is going to do is whatever command that you're using, it's going to read that into your text file. So where I've found this especially useful is if I need to get um, like, block info and I'm, I'm working with the Etsy FS tab file and I need to copy a UID. This is something that I've used fairly often. Now, if you're in an environment like this where, you know, you have your terminal window and you're in a GUI environment, you can do copying and pasting. But if you're actually at the console, you don't really have much copy paste available. So if I wanted to um, do exclamation point to say I'm doing a command and we'll do sudo block ID. And there we go. We have added those lines. So if I'm in the at CFS tab and I need to get the UUID for something, that, 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 that's a common thing that, that I would do. So the last thing I want to show you is how to do some substitution. So again, I'm already in uh, command mode here. I'm going to do colon percent S slash whatever thing that I'm wanting to substitute. 
which we're going to do foo, and we're going to substitute it with blah. And you see all the foos became blahs, and it tells you it did four substitutional substitutions on four lines. So these things, exiting with colon x, doing some cutting and pasting with ddyy, and or cut, cut, copy and paste, ddyy and p, shift p, going into insert mode with i, going into insert mode at the next line with o, moving back to the command mode to do some of these commands with escape, being able to use the exclamation point to run shell commands, and then the command colon r with exclamation point whatever shell commands to read that into your file, and then lastly doing some substitution with percent s slash uh, whatever it is that you're substituting. Those are kind of the common things that I find that I need to do in, in VI when I'm using it to do some one-off um, alterations of text files on servers and such. As always, if you enjoyed the content of the video, make sure that you do click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe. Ring the bell when you do. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time.